I knew when I started until I wanted to produce movies. I didn't know anything. I was a biology major. So I had to learn. So I started, I was a PA, whatever I had to do to learn. And it took, I had a five year plan, then a second five year plan of, you know, just setting goals and accomplishing them. Back in the 80s, we were a little busy then, before the tax and stuff. But never thinking it'd be where, where we would have more films and more studio space in Georgia than Los Angeles. I mean, that boggles the mind. But it's, um, it's melancholy in a way for me because one of the, probably the happiest time for me in the film business was my year, was my years, my early years in Atlanta. We were kids learning. It was a blast. We had a blast. Atlanta has a crew base. Atlanta has the equipment. Atlanta has all the infrastructure. Atlanta is one flight from Los Angeles, and that's important. Um, Savannah's two flights. Here, well, it's a short drive here, but still, it's not, you can't fly direct. Um, I think Columbus will have this, the same challenges that Savannah has, because I'm sure the crew base here is but not large, but you're a lot closer to the crew base than Savannah is. What Savannah did, and, and you have a similar thing here, although we, we, did not, we did not take advantage of it, Savannah has an extra 5%, I think, or something, whatever it is, that to, to, to help mitigate costs involved, added costs with shooting there, as opposed to Atlanta. The flip side of that is, and we experienced it here as opposed to Atlanta, is th there's not much traffic. Atlanta changing locations is challenging because it's a very, it's a huge city and very busy. Savannah, no problem. Here, no problem. So that is an advantage for a smaller picture, especially. When I lived in New York, I was what? I was in my mid twenties, I guess. The the girl, I say girl, because we were both kids. Uh, I was dating. We go, I go to audition. She was stage actress. And I'd see these men and women coming in and probably, I thought, oh, probably 40 or 50, which I consider young now. With that look in the eye, this is the one. That scared the hell out of me. Because I'm thinking, this person has spent their whole life waiting for that break. It may never happen. And yet, I've seen it. I've been involved with it happening like that overnight. I've seen that too. You can't tell. It's a fickle industry. As far as the performance side. Actually, probably most sides of it, but. All right.